And this centrifuge here is, I think, the largest human-rated centrifuge in the world. It can put 18 times the force of gravity on your body. But why do the astronauts have to enter the centrifuge before going to space? Two heroes will show us that. But the purpose of this one is to truly understand and be ready for the environment that we're going to see uh, when we return to the Earth from space. Chris Hadfield was the first Canadian to perform extravehicular activity in outer space. He has flown two space shuttle missions and also served as a commander of the International Space Station. Oh, and play the guitar on space also. But what does it feel to be into the centrifuge? How will the astronaut body react at the dangerous 8G? Now that the centrifuge is updated and working better, let's first use it before the big mission by the astronaut Andreas Mogensen from the European Space Agency. Can he handle it? Today is going to be really exciting. I get to do my first uh, run in the centrifuge where we can run through a normal re-entry profile and also a ballistic re-entry profile, which we use in, in case of emergencies. All right, here we go, ready to roll. Wow, what an incredible experience. That was awesome. What a great feeling that was. You need to be able to understand how that feels on your body and whether you're going to be able to work in that environment. So there we go, and a, a thumbs up from uh, Andreas Mogensen. Accomplished the mission, but what happened to the astronauts after a long period submitted to the hostile space environment and a full battery of tests here on Earth? Worth it. Let's find out what happened to the young astronaut, Andreas Mogensen, and what is he doing today, almost 10 years after. Well, thank you, Sergey. It's an honor to take over as commander of the International Space Station. 